Hi there, Stanton here from Algo Trading. Today I'm introducing to you the opening range breakout trading strategy. As some of you might know, the opening range strategy defines the opening range when the market opens. If the price breaks above the high of the opening range, a buy trade is entered. If the price breaks below the low of the opening range, a sell trade is entered. So let's have a look at the input parameters. Okay, we have our standard input parameters here. The main ones that we're going to be looking at is these two, place buy orders. If this is set to true, buy orders will be placed. If this is set, and if the place sell orders is set to true, sell orders will be placed. You could choose if you just want to sell or just buy only. The time frame opening range defines the opening range. So for instance, if you want to use the one hour opening range, you would select this. If you want to use the, the 5 minute open range, 50 minute or 30 minute open range. The caveat is that if you use the 5 minute open range, it must be added to the 5 minute chart. And the same goes for the rest of these opening ranges. So for the purpose of the demo, we're going to set this to the 30 minute opening range. And we're going to run it against the GP Great British Pound US dollar. Okay, the distance to place order in, pe in PIPs is when the opening range is defined, a pending buy order will be placed above the opening range, and this defines how far above the pending order will be placed. And the same goes for the pending sell order, or the sell stop will be placed below the opening range, and this defines how far away from the range it will be placed. And the time frame to delete the pending orders is is your pending orders will be open for this amount of time. If you're trading the 30 minute chart, it's always be above whatever chart you're trading. So I'm just going to set it to four hours. Okay, the market times inputs. So if you want to trade the London open, you set this to true. If you want to trade the US open, you'll set that to true and trade the Asia opens. And then you'll put the opening time the hour and the opening time minute. This is based on your terminal times. So if you look here, you can see what time is the, the terminal time set to. So you could trade either all the opening ranges or just one, for instance, the London opening range. And the rest of the, the inputs are based on my standard template. So you've got your stop loss, trailing stops, money management, etc., and also which days you'd like to trade. Okay, so we're gonna run this now. I'm just going to step into the code and we're just going to put a breakpoint because we're just going to trade the London opening time and we're going to trade it on the Great British Pound US dollar. Okay, let's just put a breakpoint in there and we're going to put a breakpoint where we create our pending order. Okay, so we run it. We're going to debug. I'm just going to slow this down. Okay, so we're going to speed this up until it hits the point. So as you can see here, it's it's it within the opening time that you set between the opening time plus the opening time plus minutes, and it's setting the opening high and the opening low. Once the opening high and low are set, I'm just going to speed this up. A buy order and a sell order are placed at the predefined point. So as you see, this is your opening ray. This is your opening candle. So you see the market opened at 10 o'clock, um, according to this time watch and a buy order is placed above and a sell stop is placed below. So when it broke through this buy order, yeah, or the buy stop, a buy, a buy trade was placed. So that's basically how the strategy works. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to speed it up, remove the breakpoints. We're going to just run it and we'll have a look at the graph while it's running.
So this is running on the 30 minute time frame. I'm using the 30 minute opening range and we're trading it on Great British Pound USD. So let's just look at the graph. So because it's debugging, it's actually going to take a little bit longer. So let's just stop this. And we're just going to run a straight test on the open high lows close. So it will run a little bit quicker. And let's start. And you can see, so it's trading. This is the time period from 2018-01-01 to today's date. So there you get your trade results. Let's have a look at the back test. So net profit was 78,000 with a 10,000 initial deposit over two years. Uh, drawdown of 29% and 30%, which is not that bad. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please remember that you can purchase this algo along with all the source code from my website, algotrading.co.za, or you can access from the YouTube link at the top of my page. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and share the video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.